So one thing I really enjoy is a nice early spring harvest. And I do this by planting many herbs and vegetables in the fall. And then I can enjoy them in the early spring the following year. And I let them overwinter in my garden under all of the snow. And they will spring back up the following year in the early spring and I am able to enjoy a wonderful harvest. Now there are just a few that I plant every year and they survive the snow. Now I don't know that they will survive ice but I've been doing this for about 10 years and experimenting with different vegetables and herbs. So I'm very familiar with what will overwinter in my raised beds without a cover. Okay, you know, you might know that snow is a wonderful insulator, but ice might be a little bit more challenging for these vegetables. The trick to this is making sure that you plant your herbs and vegetables early enough that they will establish a nice root system to make it through the winter. So you'll need about four weeks of good temperatures to get that plant germinated and up and growing. Once the winter temperatures set in, that plant will most likely stop growing. It should not die. And then when the spring temperatures start to warm up, for me, that's around in March, I will be able to start harvesting things like spinach and carrots there in April. So it gives me a really nice head start on the spring garden. So this includes planting things not only like spinach and carrots, but shallots do great when I plant them from seed in the fall, as well as onions. That would include your regular like Spanish storage onions or scallions. And then of course, we always want to plant garlic in the fall. So here is my square foot garden bed. And I have already amended it and loosened up the soil. I pulled out my summer crop. I put in some organic compost and I'm also going to use some of this organic fertilizer. I've got my seeds and my garlic cloves ready to go. Now we will mark off our planting space. I'm going to start by planting garlic and I want to plant two squares of garlic. Now if you're not familiar with the square foot garden method, we plant in square feet. So I'm measuring off two square feet here. Most of the times we will have a grid when we are first starting square foot gardening. However, over the years, I have just found it easier to measure it off as I plant. So I'll sprinkle on just a little bit of fertilizer here and work it gently into the top of the soil. And now with my garlic clove, root side down, I'll put four into the square. We want to plant these anywhere from about two to three inches deep. And then of course, always mark your squares that you have planted so you don't go back and plant something else over them. Now I want to plant four squares of spinach. So again, I'll mark it off. And with spinach, we want to plant nine per square. I plant my spinach early enough so that it will germinate, which takes about five days at around 65 degrees Fahrenheit. Then after it has germinated, it will need about four weeks of air growing temperature of around anywhere from 40 to 75 degrees Fahrenheit. So a lot of you that are watching this video, this might be past the time for you to plant your fall garden because maybe you don't have those temperatures right now, um, but certainly you could do it next year. But if you are in zone probably seven and up, you might be able to still do this. And so we'll just cover up our seeds there, make sure they have some nice contact with the soil, and mark our square. So I went ahead and I did four squares, and this works great also for those of you who have a green stock garden. Spinach grows wonderful throughout the winter in your green stock garden. And now I want to plant cilantro. Cilantro loves the cool weather and the best growing temperature for it is 50 to 65 degrees Fahrenheit. As long as you're planting it when the air temperature is where you live, 
um, are within that range, then it should be able to establish that root system that you will need for it to survive through your winter and then resume growing in the spring. Now over here I want to plant some carrots. Just picked up some foam board at the local Dollar General. I cut a square out that is 9 inches by 9 inches. And as you can see here, I have arrows marked all around the board and then four holes in the center. And this will allow me to plant 16 plants per square foot. I use this for carrots mainly, but it is also very good for onions. So all of these markings with the arrows and the holes are all spaced 3 inches apart. And I just took a pencil for the holes and just punched them right through the foam board. So now carrots, also a wonderful thing you can grow. And the ideal growing temperature for carrots is anywhere between 45 degrees Fahrenheit to about 75 degrees Fahrenheit. And so I also grow carrots in the green stock vertical garden. So you can easily grow carrots in the green stock garden over the winter. So I am planting about two or three seeds uh, per space there and um, that's just to ensure germination and I'll show you that we will need to thin those later after they come up. I'll show you that in just a bit. And we'll just go ahead and press them so they have nice soil contact. Cover them up with a little bit of soil and of course we will always want to mark our square. And now I want to plant some shallots. Again, we'll do these the same way I do my carrots. Put about two of these. Now these are very fresh seeds. And so I'll go ahead and plant two of these per space there. So I'll have 16. Now I've poured out too many seeds, so those will go right back into my little packet. And the best growing conditions for shallots and onions too is anywhere from 65 to 75 degrees Fahrenheit, but as long as I can get those up and growing, they should do fine in the spring. And so again, the same thing for my onions. These are just some storage onions. Make sure they have some soil contact and cover them up with soil like I did the other ones. And then the scallions I treat a little bit differently. I can just sprinkle these out. You can also use the template to plant your scallions if you want them um, separated. And give them a little soil, a little pat, and of course a marker. Now I'm going to put a little bit more fertilizer right there on top and then you'll need to water your bed every day until those seeds germinate. Make sure you're using a mist setting. So try to find a nozzle that has a mist setting. Don't use a spray or a shower uh, setting even because the, we're working with very small seeds here and they could be forced too far into the soil and then they will rot and not be able to germinate. So I lost my footage of that particular step here, but you get the picture. And one thing I like to do is um, put down a trellis or some type of protection on top um, that will keep the squirrels out. And so I'll just take my summer trellises that I use for my tomato plants and I'll just lay them right there on top of the bed. Now it doesn't keep all the squirrels away. I have a black walnut tree <laughs> and the squirrels love to go and get those black walnuts and hide them in my beds um, in the fall. So uh, they did a little bit of damage already to these. I have some spinach seedlings that were messed up and that kind of thing. But it does do an alright job. I can actually use bird netting and that would work even better. Or I could use a mosquito net. That would work great too. And then one more thing I'll show you here. This is how I showed how to thin carrot seedlings in a green stalk. So once your carrots have come up, go ahead and thin them. You just want to have 16 in your square foot. I want to pick out just one and cut them out. Do not pull them out. This is a root 
vegetable, so we don't want to disturb the developing root system. So cut out your carrots when you go to thin them to 16 per square foot. And then with your spinach, sometimes I'll use two spinach seeds just to ensure germination. So make sure you thin those to around nine per square foot. So I hope you're able to try this this year if you live somewhere where you still have adequate growing temperatures to get your um, root system established. If not, make sure you mark it as a favorite and then next year you can refer back to this to get your garden up and growing early. So thank you so much for watching and y'all have a beautiful day.